Welcome again to the Grasshopper Archicad live connection video series by the Digital Architecture YouTube channel. Today we'll take a practical example of how to start setting up some uh, parameters and some object and as an example we'll take the columns uh, tool. So to start we can say that we want to do some parametric columns in, in our building in Archicad but that's why we need the help from Grasshopper. And we can like for example now take start and define where we want to put those columns maybe on the facade or like some highway or maybe it's like uh, landscape uh, building or landscape design that we are doing outside so we start by doing a polyline the polyline tool and we draw it just normally by uh, that is one line and we don't use the line tool the line tool doesn't have that Good uh, connection to Archicad to Grasshopper because it comes some problem when you use the 2D curve tool to use it to select the line tool. It does not appear in Grasshopper on Dino. So we draw it with the 2D curve or pre line tool and we select it with the 2D curves in Grasshopper. So we have it like selected here. We can uh, uh, select one 2D curve in Archicad and we select it and now it appears in Rhino. So from here we can take as example that we need to divide this line to different points and we want to do it in a way that's not that easy in Archicad. So we want to change the distance between them. And of course you should have background in Grasshopper and Archicad. So if you have background in Grasshopper, we know that if you use the evaluate tool, evaluate curve tool, we put the curve, then we need the points where this curve, all these points should be if it's like in the middle or in the edge of the curve. Now we see it's like fully parametric from 0 to 1 automatically. If we change the line, now it's updated, so it's 1 at the end and 0 at the start of this curve, so it's automatically re -parameterized. If it's not, you should uh, select the re -parameterized tool to make sure that the line start at 0 and then that one. Now we need to make multiple points in this kind and for this we we'll use the range tool. It's known in Ashton Grasshopper. We get multiple numbers from 0 to 1 and we can leave it by 0 to 1 as it is and we make slider to select how many points. And then if you plug that in and we see we have multiple points at the same time. Now you see how it's easily we transferred from Grasshopper, sorry, from Archicad to Grasshopper, just by this 2D line in Archicad. And you see the changes sense automatically between the two. And this here from Grasshopper, from Archicad to Grasshopper, we need to active the send changes. If it's like have a heavy file and don't want to send every change to Grasshopper, we can do it manually by deselecting this. And now if we moved the line, it will not be updated. So. To update it by send shades of uh, working and it will be working directly. Now we have points which is what we need to draw columns. That's by the design and we get columns. We know in the Archicad columns can be drawn directly from a one point. If you select column we can see one point and it will give me a column. So here we see in the columns in the tool in parameters in the grasshopper it's half also. The First, if we want to send the change, and then we have the anchor points. And if you plug in these points here, and you see we get directly the columns. And we can change the amount of them as we like. And if we change the line also, this will happen in Grasshopper automatically. See now it takes a little bit of time to move the columns, but it's happening and fast enough. And we see that this is like much more, uh, don't take that much time as like we say maybe Dynamo and Trivet which is like heavier in the machine that we're working on. It's like happening smoothly and perfectly. Now if we want to like do the parametric uh, design of these columns, we want to change it a bit and make it like a bit more uh, fun or like more, more options that we can do in Grasshopper, we can start like to separate those points differently. If we use the graph mapper, 
we know we have from 0 to 1 and we can change this graph by making like a conic to this so we multiply this values from 0 to 1 that are separate evenly to different value based on this curve now if you look at that to t and we see now the points how they are changing in distance which is nice let us make that again to keep it in the color or horizontal now okay so you see now we can directly of course change the points in grasshopper and we then we thus change the position of those columns we can also now control the height the height here it's like different from uh, Archicad would like define the height of the column completely or like if we, we can make a link to the story above but here the height depends on the second point so we have the base point and the second point that drawn the column and if we check the seating of this column what we have we can plug in seating and you see here that we don't have height we can right click and change the structure if you want circular or complex profile or rectangle then we got building material dimension of this column the vinyl thickness if it's like uh, isolated and then some where the anchor point will be we know like we have the, the columns in the middle exactly like Archicad we can change those anchor points and so on this is the the mass of the score of this if you want to do the warping method or if you want to do the thickness and so here we see the circular or complex profile exactly the same sitting here except the height is based on the second point so to control the height we can make move to our points we can move them in the z direction to give it the second point so now to move those columns we can also do it parametrically we're using those uh, graph number that we have and we can copy this okay, graph mapper we do it like a different shape and we multiply it by a slider let's say like 5 and do it. now we see the points that are moving in this direction we can also hide the cones so it's like we can see better in Grasso in Archicad or Rhino and now we see how those points change so we may change the graph to like a conic or parabola maybe we do this this shape we want our columns to be this way different height and the, the parametric maybe this is like uh, something in the landscape or like the landscape that you are doing outside so we plug this to the endpoints and we, now we see the move we see how they, those change and if you go to Archicad 3D you see them exactly like this so you see now you have control to the position of those columns to the height in parametric way it's like parametrically doing everything and updating so quick in Archicad and the same thing applies to the setting we can also change uh, those setting so by, for example if we take the depth and the width of this column we can make a slider like make the width 15 centimeter 15 and we see like it's like thick columns or maybe we plug that to again to the depth and now it's sorry so it's like rectangle columns and if we maybe multiply our columns like this way and we see now you have some columns getting inside each other so maybe you do it also parametrically here that those columns that are here in the first or the start of this line it will be thinner then it will get thicker and this is exactly working uh, work like the same way we did the point so we make uh, make range that will go from 0 to 1 and maybe uh, you can plug also a rough mapper or we'll do it like manually and you just say we construct a domain we may the nearest 
column will be 0 0.1 thickness and the last we make it like to 0 0.5 we take the same slider here and we plug that to the width now we see now we have the column getting thicker every way they move the bar from each other so we can make that as a logic in our columns based design can okay, arrange the files like this and now we have our script complete we may play with the plug with the thickness and see which one is better maybe zero with one we can make those at the end thicker we get such design and we have every control to change that the position and the height of those columns also this was it uh, introductory it's like first practical example in the live connection between Archicad and Grasshopper stay tuned with us we will take more examples how we implement those uh, ideas and uh, the plugin between the connection between the two files and so if you have any question or any uh, special special need you can write that in the comments below and we'll see you in the next lesson thank you for watching